Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephron Olive, and it's time for another Brewer's Minute. So this week, I want to take a little bit of time and talk about building a sideboard in Modern, because if you're a standard player, building a Modern sideboard is super different, very, very, very different than building a sideboard in Standard. So I want to take a bit and talk about the differences and kind of give you a little bit of my theory of picking sideboard cards for Modern. First off, a quick reminder, if you enjoy Brewer's Minute and the other series here on the site, it would be awesome of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down in the corner of your screen. It's an awesome way to support the channel and the site for free. So first, before getting to sideboarding in specific, we got to talk just a little bit about the metagame. So as you can see, I have the modern metagame page pulled up here and what we're looking for are the percentages. And this is what stands out. In Modern, in fact, is the most played deck, and it's not quite 10% of the format. That means if you go to a GP, you're going to play against, in fact, approximately 1.5 times. 1.5 out of a 15 round tournament. Jund is about the same, a little bit less, but let's round it up. Say you also play that 1.5 times out of 15 rounds. That means three out of your. 15 matches are going to be against one of those two decks. Then there's a ton of decks that are between like 4 and 6% of the meta that you're going to play maybe once per tournament on average. Tron, Nyaburn, Dredge, Affinity, Thing in the Ice Aggro, Bant Eldrazi, and these decks are all super different. So the point of this is modern is incredibly diverse. There are so many different decks that you will run into, and even the most played decks you're barely going to run into across the course of a tournament, which means you need to be prepared for everything. This is opposed to standard, where the big four decks... Blue White Flash, 20%. Etherworks Marvel, 20%. Green Black Delirium, 10%. Mardu Vehicles, 10%. You're going to play those four decks six out of every ten rounds if you go to a standard tournament. That means in a 15-round tournament, you're going to play maybe nine times against those decks. To get to that same amount in Modern, you're going to have to go 10, 15 decks deep in the format, when in Standard, it's only four. And what this means is in Standard, you can afford to play sideboard cards just to deal with Archangel Avazin from Blue White Flash, just to deal with Aetherworks Marvel, just to deal with specific threats from specific popular decks, you can't really do that in Modern, because Modern is so diverse. So let's see what that means. So you're going to build a deck for Modern, and you want to have an answer to Affinity. you got to be able to deal with Affinity. You're worried about it. Yes, you know, it's only, whatever, 5% of the meta, but you still need a plan for it, because it'll wreck you if you're not ready. So you think, well, I can play Shatterstorm or Vandal Blast. These are, like, I win cards against Affinity. If you resolve one of these against Affinity, you're probably 90% to win. It's really hard to lose against those decks after resolving a card that says destroy all artifacts. However, those cards aren't that great against Tron, another big artifact deck with Chromatic Spheres and Oblivion Stones. They're okay, but not insane against Lantern Control with Pixis and Ghoul Caller's Bell. So, you have another option. You have Stony Silence, and Stony Silence isn't I win against Infinity. It's very good against an Affinity, but I've definitely resolved a Stony Silence against Affinity, and then just embarrassingly lost to Signal Pest beating down with Ornithopters and still lose the game. It's a very good sideboard card, but not just game over. However, Stony Silence is also a very good sideboard card against Tron, where Shatterstorm is almost unplayable. Very good against Lantern Control, better than Shatterstorm against Lantern Control, so, given the choice of playing a card that's I win in a specific matchup, and giving a card that's very good in a whole bunch of matchups, in Modern, you almost always want to pick the card that deals with the most different threats in the most decks, not the narrow option, which is almost exactly the opposite of Standard, where it's perfectly fine to play a card specifically because you need to beat Archangel Avacyn, or need to beat Aetherworks Marvel. This is why Spell Pierce is one of the best sideboard cards available in all of Modern. Spell Pierce stops spell-based combo decks. It's going to counter that ad nauseum that's about to kill you. But it's also going to counter that lightning bolt that's about to kill you from a burn deck. And it's going to keep your opponent from playing a turn three card liberated if they're playing the ramp deck of Modern and Tron. So it's an example of a card that is pretty good in a whole lot of situations. Yes, sometimes your opponent's going to be able to play the 2 extra mana and it's not going to work out. But it does a little something and can potentially shift 
a whole bunch of matchups rather than a card that is only good in a very specific situation like Ceremonious Rejection is always going to stop the Karn, but it does nothing against Ad Nauseam or Lightning Bolt. So the point of all this is, as opposed to Standard, where sideboarding is about having specific answers for specific threats that you know you're going to deal with, because the meta isn't very diverse, in Modern, it's about choosing cards that are good in as many situations as possible because when you show up to a modern tournament you really have no idea what you're going to play and even the most played decks are a very tiny fraction of the meta so instead of picking i win hosers for specific situations pick cards that are pretty good in as many situations as possible so next time you build a sideboard for modern keep this in mind if you're choosing between two cards always err on the side of flexibility over the just more more powerful in a vacuum in a specific matchup card, and you'll have a lot more success with your modern sideboard building. Anyway, that's been our Brewers Minute for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.